our very own airline serving the Caribbean islands has placed an order for 12 737 MAX aircraft and today I will give you all the information you need to know about the airline and this said deal. Firstly, I have to start with a little history. Caribbean Airlines was formed by the government of Trinidad and Tobago with the help from other Caribbean islands. After the failed negotiations between the unions and the management of its predecessors, BWIA, as a result, it was announced on 8th of September 2006, BWIA was to be shut down before the launch of Caribbean Airlines. During the last quarter of 2006, in an effort to scale down operations for the start of Caribbean Airlines, BWIA's management had to cut routes such as Manchester Airport and London Heathrow in the United Kingdom, New York City, and Toronto, with intermediate stops at Barbados or Antigas and sea service to and from St. Lucia, my home island, and had to cut its fleet down to only six Boeing 737-800s. Caribbean Airlines Limited, through the government of Trinidad and Tobago, announced their plans to operate a base in Jamaica following the divestment of Air Jamaica, which was slated to occur between 30th April 2010 to that same period in 2011. Caribbean Airlines provide a seamless transition following Air Jamaica's closure. When the deal was finalized, Caribbean Airlines Limited became the largest airline in the Caribbean with a new hub in Kingston, Jamaica, Norman Manley International Airport. The divestment was scheduled to become effective on 30th April 2010 after it was rescheduled from 12th April 2010 on this day. It was planned that Air Jamaica would cease all operations and Caribbean Airlines will then acquire the airline's most profitable routes and the remaining six aircraft. Plans were also announced to replace the aircraft fleet with all Boeing 737-8 next generation jets. Now back to the report on the order. The Boeing 737 MAX has been making its comeback across the globe. Just yesterday, the Indian DGCA gave the green light for operations of the type to resume in its airspace. Since the FAA ungrounded the aircraft, it has returned to many airlines, but also airlines such as Ryanair have taken their first aircraft of the type. Caribbean Airlines is set to follow soon as the first two of its aircraft have now taken their first flights at the Boeing factory. The Caribbean Airlines Boeing 737 MAX story started back in November of 2018 on the 21st. Boeing revealed that the airline was to take 12 of its MAX aircraft, all coming from the Dash 8 variant of the family. Caribbean Airlines hasn't directly ordered the aircraft from Boeing, but will instead lease them from a third party. According to data from ch-aviation.com, the lesser of these aircraft, Air Lease Corporation, often referred as ALC. So far, two aircraft bound for the airline have taken their first flight, while a total of four have been matched to a manufacturer's serial numbers, according to chaviation.com. Here's what we know about each of the four so far. The first aircraft, due to go to Caribbean Airlines, is registered as 9 Yankee Charlie Alpha Luxembourg with the MSN 43385. The aircraft shown in the first photo of this article is now 0.21 years of age, having taken its first flight on June 2012. As mentioned, the aircraft will be owned by Air Lease Corporation, while Caribbean Airlines is only signed the lease for the aircraft in 2018. The specific aircraft has been on order from Boeing since July of 2012. The aircraft has estimated delivery date in October. The second Boeing 737 MAX to go to Caribbean Airlines is 9 Yankee Gustavo Uniform Yankee. This aircraft is slightly younger, taking its first flight on June 22nd. It clocks in at 0.118 years of age. The aircraft carries the MSN 43319 and is expected to be delivered in November. With no firm registration, the third aircraft will carry the manufacturer's serial number 43329 
unlike the other two aircraft the one was ordered on march 17th in 2014 by alc its estimated delivery date is june 2022 again with no firm registration the fourth aircraft is expected to go to the airline in msn 43340 the aircraft is estimated to be delivered in june of 2022 and will also initially ordered by alc in 2014 caribbean airlines is built out of port of spain paraco international airport pos in trinidad and tobago the director general of civil aviation ordered the aircraft to be prohibited from use in its airspace on march 13th 2019 this came following the tragic crash of an e boeing 737 max the second such crash in half a year the aircraft was grounded in trinidad and tobago for precisely 22 months the civil aviation authority removed its grounding order for the boeing 757 max on january 14th 2021 both orders were applied to both the 737 max 8 and max 9 the max 7 and max 10 are yet to be fully certified by the faa in the first place we don't have a firm clue yet of where Caribbean Airlines is planning to fly the Boeing 737 MAX once it has the aircraft in its fleet. However, we can look at where the airline is currently flying its Boeing 737-800 aircraft to know where it may fly. The airline currently serves 41 routes connecting 41 destinations across 16 countries with a two-type fleet consisting of ATR-72 dash 600 sorry and the boeing 737 dash 800 according to the scheduled data from syrian the airlines X is currently operating a reduced schedule of around 400 flights a month expected to rise to 1000 from november looking at data for october the airline's busiest destination will be its home of port of spain with about 150 inbound flights there are 14 destinations in total for the month, with the top 10 as follows. Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago, Georgetown, Guyana, New York, JFK, United States, Kingston, Jamaica, Miami, United States, Toronto, Canada, Bridgetown, Barbados, Pari, Paramaribo, Suriname, Antigua, Antigua. Orlando, United States. In April, CH Aviation reported that Caribbean Airlines would replace its Boeing 737-800 with its MAX order. According to the publication, the airline could have left its dry lease commitment for the aircraft penalty free but decided to stick with the type. When the pandemic began, the airline had 12 737-800 meaning that the max would be a like-for-like -like replacement. The airline currently has just nine left, with only seven of them listed as active, like British Airways with the Boeing 747 to 777X transition. The airline has reduced its capacity in the interim, with deliveries planned for when demand is expected to return. The, the remaining fleet of nine Boeing 737-800s has an average of just under 20 years at 19.1 with a total capacity of 1,350 seats for across all aircraft. All of the aircraft are leased, four from Aircap, three from Carlyle Aviation Partners and two from Thunderbolt Aircraft Lease. In contrast, the airline owns five out of the seven of its ATR 72s with a value of $48.91 million. This, the remaining two are on lease from Nordic Aviation Capital. What do you think on the situation? Do you really think that they should be taking on the 747 MAX as a replacement for the Dash 800s? Let me know in the comments below.